Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the beautiful Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. A God who is creator of all. A God who's given us the mountains and the valleys and the oceans and the seas and all these things that we can enjoy as we look at them and see his great hand at work. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Job chapter 33, verse 4. The Spirit of God has made me. The breath of the Almighty gives me life. You know, I think part of our problem in our world today is the fact that we forget the basics of who created us and who made us. I know there are some out there who believe other theories, uh, the Big Bang Theory or different things like that. And yet, for me, I, I, I can't get my mind around the idea that these things just happened on some kind of happenstance to get us to a point today where we're human beings with minds and all these things. As we see the intricate details of our of our bodies and how our minds work and what we're able to do, I mean, it's it shouts out to me that there has to be a higher power. There has to be a God who made us. Uh, and if there's a God who made us, then we owe him uh, his due respect. We owe him his our, our love. We owe him our everything. Now, maybe you'd say, well, maybe there's other gods out there. Well, maybe, but there's not. And the reason I could say there's not is because I've seen the hand of God at work in my life. I believe fully that there's one God and only one God. One God who's alive and well and, and working in our lives. One God who's still doing creating when it comes to people, when it comes to you know human beings and, and other things. A God who is, loves us and wants us to be a part of all that he has going on. But if we go back to that beginning point of how do we come into existence, how do we come into being, and where do we get our daily breath from, from then I think we want to worship God. We want to give him the glory and the praise. The truth is, is I can't find any other way to explain how all this works in an almighty God who had a great plan, a plan bigger than we can understand. Today, you have been created by God on purpose. You're not here by chance. You're not here uh, because the cars lined up a certain way. You're not here because uh, two rocks collided together. You're here because God created you, because God loves you, because God wanted you. Now, what does that mean? It means that we have a choice. It means that we can choose to love God. We can choose to serve him or we can choose to serve self um, or not God, if he will. And because of God's love for us, he's going to allow us to make those choices. He's going to call us back to himself. He's going to maybe discipline us at times, uh, whatever the case could be. But ultimately, God lets us make that choice. People often say, well, you know, uh, why would a loving God send people to hell? And I respond with, he doesn't. God simply gives people the choice they made with their life. God knows our hearts. He knows what we decided. We either want a relationship with him and are living a life for him that's repentant and, and doing our best to serve him or we're serving self. We're either choosing him or not him. Today, I want to encourage you to choose him. I'm not going to ask you to be perfect because I'm not perfect. We're simply going to live out our lives as best we can do for God. Today, God wants to love you. Today, God wants to be in a relationship with you. He's not coming to you and saying, hey, follow all these rules today or you're going to get zapped. He's coming to you and said, hey, I got a better life for you. And as you live out the life the way I want you to, not only am I going to give you the breath of life, but I'm going to give you joy and happiness and peace. Those are the things I want in my life. I hope you do too. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this quick reminder that it's you who's given us life that you have given us our breath, that you have given us our days. And even today, as, as we've woken up, we, we trust that it's you who's given us this day. Father, may we not waste it. May the day be used to bring about glory to you. May we find rest in it. May we find joy in it. May we find happiness in it and all that we do. Father, for some watching this, they may be going through tough times right now, and I pray that you would truly bless them. I pray that they would sense your presence more than most. I pray for some, Lord, that you would hold them close to your chest that they might hear your heartbeat. And Lord, for those who are having a glorious day today, may your presence just shine upon them and may it shine not only in their lives, but through their lives into the lives of others. Father, thank you for being our God. Thank you for creating us on purpose. Thank you for loving us even in the midst of where we're at. Thank you for being God. Father, please bless those who need a special blessing today, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, or even spiritual. Whatever the case, bless them according to your will that it might bring you glory. Father, we ask for all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God created you. God has given you life today. Let's live today the fullest. Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.